everyone, my name is Adam Reeples Vox. Welcome back to another Ubuntu 16.04 tips video. In this video, I'm going to show you my favorite, or what's not necessarily my favorite, but what's considered a highly recommended Twitter client for Ubuntu. So we're going to open up our terminal here, sudo apt-get install corebird. It's called corebird. We're going to download and install it, and we're going to check it out. We're going to add my Twitter account. Yep, all right, we're good to go. So start corebird, there it is. Got a nice little icon to it. New account. Uh, don't have an account? Create one. It's probably opening that up in zip Firefox. I would imagine. Yep. No, that's Twitter. Okay. I don't have a Corbett account. We need to make one. All right now, did it open? I have a Twitter account. Request pin. Oh, now it opened Firefox. Okay, here we go. Ebos Vox, we gotta sign into Twitter. Remember me. Authorize app. Remember. Now it needs my two factor authentication. Okay. Authorize app. All right, here is our pin number 8475295. Four seven five two nine five. Hopefully that's not something that will give you all access. <laughs> Alrighty. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how hijacked my Twitter gets. But it's a very minimalistic but very awesome Twitter client. It's just got a nice stream of your feed here. You can click on tweets. You can go back. You can view the full stream. And then you have these kind of half done emojis. And then if you actually install, I don't know if this is installed by default. There's actually a font for emoji uh, emojis that work a little bit better. It's called TTF Ancient Fonts. And it may let emojis work a little bit better. So we're going to close out Corebird while it's doing that. Or if you have a copy of Windows 8.1, a legit copy, you can copy over the Seg Segoe UI emoji font from that computer and install it on your Ubuntu machine and it will work the same. So let's open up Corebird again. All right, and scroll back to our tweet. All right, it's they, they still look the same. And then if you open up the emoji on Firefox, they actually look like emoji. But in case your Corebird isn't showing those, that is the font that you need installed. But it's just got a nice little font and then you can view your mentions. <laughs> You can see all of your mentions and replies and things like that. And reply, blah, blah, blah. It's just very minimalistic and very cool. And I like it a lot. All your likes, you can view your lists. I have too many lists that I don't even use. You can search for stuff. You can go home. You can view your stuff. You can add multiple accounts. You can change your account settings. You can change your profile, things like that. Auto start. I think that starts Corebird on its own. Really? Start up. That would be weird. No, I don't see it on here. Huh. Okay. But yeah, that is the app that I recommend for checking Twitter. It's a lot nicer than launching it, you know, just leaving it up in your browser. And you can lock it, lock it to your launcher, and then you just always have a nice, super nice, minimalistic Twitter feed going on here. You can resize it if you like. That's as small as it gets in terms of width, but you can do whatever you want with it. It does start to stretch images a little bit, which I'm not a fan of. It is designed to just kind of go here, but it is a nice little feed. And then if we drag it over here, we can make it take up that whole side. And then if we, here's a video, it'll pop it up in its own little video player. That chroma. But that is my favorite Twitter client and a general overview of it here. Uh, you got full screen mode or full view mode, which looks a little awkward. I'm going to drag it out of that. Replies, favorites, direct messages, which I'm not going to send you. Change your own profile account, add multiple accounts, write a tweet. And this is a tweet from Corebird. Actually, it's Corebird. Send. Now if we... There we go. There's our tweet. Ha <laughs> ha. Add a favorite. Source. It'll say Twitter client. There we go. Ha <laughs> ha. 
So that's it. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Smash the like button if you enjoyed. If you want to see more software recommendations and or reviews of sorts, let me know in the comment section down below. Let me know what kinds of software you'd like to see. Like, this is a Twitter client. What other software would you like me to see, like to see me look at? Get subscribed. Check that YouTube playlist in the description below or the YouTube card icon, and I will see you in the next video.